Welcome everyone. So I'm going to show you how you can leverage Google's free traffic to bring in leads to your software business, to your SaaS. It's going to be again a boring video, but a thousand percent worth it because getting free traffic from Google, targeted traffic, target that's ready to buy your SaaS is one of the best hacks you can uh, apply to your business. So yeah, let me just jump inside my computer and I'll show you exactly how you can do it. Okay, okay, we're here. Uh, like I said, it's gonna be a long video, super boring, but a thousand percent worth it, okay? So I don't make 2000 plus dollars a day, and if you wanna verify this, I mean, you just ask me, uh, with free Google traffic. That is by leveraging free Google search traffic through SEO. Now, SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. You should know what this is, right? Essentially, when you search for something on Google, right? You search for something on Google, right? Results show up, right? And you wanna be the first one. If someone searches for, I don't know, uh, buy my microphone online, you want to be showing up first so people click your result and they buy from you, right? That's what we call search engine optimization, SEO. You're optimizing for the search engine that is Google, right? That's what SEO means. Essentially, position your site higher on Google for different keywords, right? It's a very, very valuable skill because if you rank first for all, all of your, let's call them money keywords, you're going to make a lot of money, okay? And so I'm going to break down uh, the exact SEO strategy behind uh, this new brand, this new software I'm building that's responsible for multiple six-figure generated in about nine months. Now, it's simple. Anyone can understand this. It's not easy because it's not easy to implement. Uh, but you should be able to replicate it with, with some time, right? This is the, the growth rate right here. And I'll show you here what I'm talking about. This is our growth for the, for the business in terms of traffic, just traffic coming from Google. Now, it is not amazing, but we're, we have to look at two things here. First, we have to look at the growth, exponential growth, uh, since just December last year, which is I mean, a couple of months only. And secondly is traffic right here. The number is a vanity metric, right? Uh, and I'll go over in detail why that is. But if all of these 320 people are hungry and ready to buy, right? I take this any other week than a graph with a billion um, in search traffic per month. Uh, this actually per week, yeah, but per week, but none of these people buy, right? So the thing here is that you want to be ranking on Google and getting this traffic from Google, right, from the search engine, but for ready to buy keywords, and I'll go over what that is in this second here. So that brings you to my first point right here, which is focus on high buying intent keywords. And for that, I need to give you an example, right? If I give you this example, then you can extrapolate for for the software world, okay? Let's say, for example, I have I have an iPhone repair shop, right? People come into my shop to repair their iPhones, right? And for, for people to come into my shop, they have first to come to my website, right? They come to my website, right? And they come to my shop and I repair their iPhones on my shop, my physical store. Now, people can come into my site by searching on Google, for example, for uh, how to repair an iPhone. Let's say I have a website, a blog, and people, again, people go on Google right here, they type in how to repair an iPhone and my website shows up first or second and people click it, right? And they go to my site. Or they can come into my site searching, for example, for where to repair an iPhone or how much does it cost to repair an iPhone? And let's say this, this keyword, how, has 10,000 searches per month. 10K people search for this, okay? However, the two keywords, uh, where or how much, only have 1,000 searches per month. Now, one might think that, yeah, I'm just going to target this one. I'm just going to rank my site for how to repair an iPhone. But that's not smart. And again, it's the same concept that you need to look at this number as a vanity metric because it doesn't matter the number, right? What matters is the willing, willingness, sorry, for them to buy because these people here searching for where or how much are much more likely to want to pay someone to fix their iPhone for them while someone searching for a how, right? How to fix an iPhone. Most likely we can assume that most of these people want to do it themselves, right? So these people right here, have such a larger buying intent. They're more willing to pay someone to do the service for them. And this is very important, right? Because you want to rank your site, right? For high buying intent keywords, right? You want, to, you want your site to show up only, or most of the times, for keywords where people searching for it want to make an action, want to buy something, a product or a service. And an exercise you can do is you can, you can build out what I call the keyword matrix, where in the y-axis we have what, we, what I call BI, which is buying intent, and in the x-axis you have the traffic. And of course, the higher the traffic, the higher the competition for the keyword, right? And once you make the, the list of your keywords, like a list of a bunch of keywords you want to rank for, so think about it. Okay, I have this software, I have this issue I solve, people pay me to solve this issue. And so putting myself in my customer's shoes, what would I be searching for on Google to find a solution, in this case, your software, that solves that problem? And then, of course, you get a list of keywords. And if you want more like 
tail, uh, niche down videos on how to do this, I'll, I'll, I'll let, you, let me know. But once you have your, all your keywords, you're going to start putting them here, right? In the matrix, right? How, how If they have high traffic, put them here. If they have low traffic, put them here. If they have high buying intent, put them here. Low buying intent, put them here. And you do not want to go for keywords here, nor here. But you do absolutely want to go for keywords here and here, right? So these two quadrants have, meaning these two quadrants right here, have high buying intent. In this case, high traffic. In this case, low traffic. These two right here, this one has low buying intent, low traffic, and this one has low buying intent, high traffic. So it's not smart to go for this. Now, it's not to say that you shouldn't like, eventually target keywords here, but you want to make money and get users as fast as possible. That's the whole thing about a business. You want to grow fast, okay? And so you want to go for keywords here and here, right? Keywords with high buying intent. So again, take this example from the iPhone repair shop and try to a apply this to your own business. And I'll go over exactly how we're applying this to our own business, to our SaaS, but I, just, I, I, want, I like to give you context, right, beforehand, so this all makes sense. So again, a bit of a technical thing right here, but this is super important, right? Go for high buying intent keywords. Focus on keywords where people are ready to buy. And an example of these keywords is my second point here, which is by leveraging your competitors, you can find these high buying intent keywords. How? By building comparison or alternative pages. Now, what does this mean? Let's say, for example, I have a a SaaS that's uh, a competitor of Shopify, right? People, my, my SaaS, people give me money and I give them a Shopify alternative, okay? Now, what I want to do and what I want to rank my site for is, I'm going to change this right here for a text. I want to rank my site for keywords, for example, like Shop, Shopify alternative, right? Best Shopify alternative. Let's do this right here. Affordable Shopify alternative. Faster Shopify, you get my point, Shopify alternative, right? So these keywords, again, are high buying intent keywords. Why? Because people searching for these know what their pain point is because they have already used a competitor of ours, Shopify, and they're actively looking for an alternative, right? So they're in the market to get a new product, right? Best alternative, affordable, right? Pain point, product, product they already use, and the word that says, okay, I want to find something else. I've tried Shopify, it's not the best for me. Maybe it's too expensive, I want something more affordable. And let me just give you money for this for this solution, right? Pain point, uh, software they know and use, uh, looking for an alternative, right? So these are the pages you wanna build out, right? Make a list of all your competitors, right? And then create alternative pages. Competitor name, right? You can do this right here. So you do just do this. Rank for keywords, competitor, a plus all alternative, right? Do you create pages on this, create blog posts on this, but actually like nail down the blog post, right? Write a full page, right? With a proper age one title, proper like comparison, why yours better, why there's worse, right? Uh, feature comparison lists, right? Tables. I won't like bore you with this. But if you want a more in-depth tutorial on this, I can record, but uh, yeah, just, just that's just the gist of it, right? Do and try to rank for these comparison pages because it's so much more valuable to rank for these than for just some random keywords. And yes, these might have like low search volumes, but the people searching for them are hungry to buy, right? Um, you can do like uh, comparison pages, for example, uh, Shopify versus, I don't know, some other competitor and you plug in your, 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 your solution in there, right? Because again, people might not be aware of your... Uh, product because you're just just starting out so if you do shopify versus i don't know uh, woocommerce or, or or a big cartel which was one at the time right you target people look uh, looking to find uh, either one in the market to, to for a solution that's like shopify and and um, woocommerce right or, or a big cartel that is a SaaS that helps them build out a store and you capitalize on the market of people that know these two solutions and somehow in the blog post you tell them listen these are great but this one ours is even better Try it out for free, right? So again, targeting high buying intent keywords by leveraging your, leveraging your competitors' brands by building these comparisons or alternative pages, okay? Now, the biggest one here, which is pretty cool, which is something that Canva does and the way which they grew their organic traffic through search was insane. It was just thanks, thanks, thanks to this, sorry, Vid.io, a video editing platform, uh, SaaS, sorry, which, may, which they make like hundreds of, millions of, hundreds of millions of dollars a year, I think, probably. Um, Ahrefs, which I mean, these guys are a billion-dollar company. If you know SEM Rush, they're um, SEM Rush. They're a a publicly traded company, and they're a competitor of um, 
Ahrefs, okay, and they they are worth a billion dollars market cap, right? They're worth one point ninety four billion dollars, and I think there's more people using Ahrefs. They they are just not public, right? You cannot buy stock from them, but they are direct competitors, right? This billion dollar company, this hundred million dollar company, I think Canva is also a billion dollar company. All use this same thing, and it's crazy, and it's something we're all, that we're also applying to our uh, software that you can do too, which is, oh, leveraging free tools. Now, what does this mean? Let me go over the one right here for Vid.io, right? If you go to Vid.io, again, there is software you can pay to, to get, uh, to add your videos, add captions to your videos, do a bunch of stuff, right? Remove backgrounds, whatever, right? But as you see here, they have a bunch of these on the forward slash create page, which gets a lot of traffic. They have a bunch of these free tools. Animation maker, birthday video maker, business video maker, uh, explainer video software, Facebook video maker, highlight video maker. So all of these, right? As you can see, are high buying intent keywords, right? Someone searching for Memorial Video Maker is someone that wants to make a video looking for a thing that helps them make a video for this, let's call it pain point. Meme Maker, Mockup Generator, Montage Maker, right? These are all high buying intent keywords. And the way in which they're satisfying the searcher's intent is through offering these free tools, right? Because it's free, just upload your video and it's free, right? And then of course they upsell you on the, on the, on the service. But if you go here, right? Just this, this page, and actually, if, if you do this, right, all the URLs under the create, so all these tools oh, are under the create URL, as you see here. Any one of these will it be under the create uh, subfolder, okay? So all these combined get a whopping. <laughs> Just last week, 150,000 people visited these tools, right? And if you go to the top pages, you can see here, GIF maker, all these are, by the way, on the, on, are the free tools, right? GIF maker. Uh, three, three, 32,000 people, right, last month. 15,000 people for video maker. Uh, 14,000 people for uh, professional business video maker, whatever. For, so all of these are free tools and they're using the free tools to get people in for free on the pain points their main software offers, right? They get them, they get them to try the free version and then upsell them on a paid version. I don't know, maybe to remove the watermark, maybe to do the video in HD, whatever, right? Canva did the exact same thing. If you go here to Canva and you see their uh, their traffic. Right? The traffic is huge, as you know, right? I mean, they they, they get uh, let's see here, 5.6. They rank for 5.6 million keywords, keywords sorry, and almost 300 million in traffic every single month, right? Uh, and if you go here to top pages, uh, we will find most certainly. Okay, sorry, never mind. Just need to do this forward slash create, right? This is what uh, where you find all of their uh, free tools as well. They have a bunch of them, like a lot of them. And as you can see, all these ones forward slash create. Logos, resumes, AI presentations, photo galleries, uh, CVs, posters, tier lists, GIF maker, and the, it gets super niche, right? Uh, wedding invitation vibe uh, video, I guess. Email signatures, and all these pages get a, so much traffic, like millions every single month, right? And again, it's the same thing. You go here, you try it for free, and then to get extra features, to get the full product suit, you have to pay them. Age refs, the exact same thing, and I do want to show you this because I think it's completely worth it because you need to find ways to apply this to your business. Uh, let me just go here, down, or actually got it here, tools, right? Uh, let's see here, let's do this, Ahrefs free tools, just go here, free tools, this is their free tools page, I mean, they have a bunch of them here, I, I won't dive to the this, but they have the same tools right here, all, all these softwares and a bunch more people do this, right? They leverage free tools that, by design, someone, a free tool, what it does is it ranks for a high buying intent keyword. Right, and it lets the the searcher test a part of their product for free, right, or a limited version of their product in this case, in this case too, right, and then once they get introduced to the product for free, they're much more likely to buy, right. And these free tools actually offer value to the user, and we are doing the exact same thing with our software. We do the exact same thing. We offer a sort of free version, a limited version of our software, and we are starting to rank for, as you can see here, for these uh, th these tool pages of ours are starting to rank for these keywords. Okay, and so that's super powerful. Now, one thing I do have to mention is that uh, there's a bunch more stuff that goes into all this, right? Uh, by the way, it, there's a lot of nuance here. This is just like a, a 10, 20 minute video on how, how to do this. It, it is super simple. I mean, I just explained this to you, you understood it. Now there's a lot of nuance to it on how to create the pages, what to say in them, what not to say, how to link them. There's, there's so much that goes into this, right? There's so much that goes into SEO, search engine optimization. And I've been doing this for years now. I've been doing uh, optimizing and ranking sites on ranking sites on Google for a long time now. 
So this is why it's easy for me. But uh, I'll, I'll try to make more videos on breaking down these exact SEO strategies. And hopefully this was a good introduction on how these guys are doing it and how you can do it too. Again, it's all about focusing on high buying intent keywords. Don't really focus on traffic. These are like vanity metrics. Focus on quality traffic. Focus on traffic that's ready to buy, okay? Go out and do this exercise for your own business and build out your keyword matrix. And then, yeah, let's get to make some money. If you have any questions, if you have any specific videos you want me to record on for, for, uh, for SaaS growth, let me know down below in the comments. I read every single one of them. So don't be shy, just comment down below. And I also have a free course, I think in the description, if you want to take it, it's a bunch more videos on, a, on how to grow your SaaS. And if you want to talk to me, there's also down below in the description, a, um, a link to book a call with me. You can pick my brain, like ask anything you want and uh, become my friend. So yeah, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.